Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, listen, I'm coming to you with a market update. Um, we had the opportunity to meet with the Cherokee Association of Realtors and the Housing Support uh, um, just here recently. And uh, just kind of going through where the market's at and where we project it to go here in the next couple months. So just was going to dive right in here and kind of go through this. Um, this is real geeky. That's going to have a lot of numbers and stuff for those that you know, like numbers, this is great for those that don't, you know, it gets a little bit tricky. Um, and I don't know how to move my head. There we go. Okay. So this is kind of interesting. This is Cherokee County alone. And, um, you know, back at the uh, census right here, uh, we had an overall population of 266,620 people. Very interesting. If you look at the projection of where they're saying this population in our county is going to go, this is this is huge growth. They're saying by 2053, we're going to be at 400,000 on the low end, at the high end, 550,000. This is the new homes right down here. That means that we're going to need to add between 1,600 and 3,000 homes every single year until those 2053, just to stay up with the population growth. So that is that is a lot of homes. Um, they used the example, which I thought was really good, um, of Bridge Mill. You know, obviously Bridge Mill is a prominent subdivision that we have here. There's 28, 20, 2,820 homes in, sub, uh, in Bridge Mill. So these numbers that we are projecting is like building a Bridge Mill subdivision every single year for the next 33, well, this is 2004. So for the next um, 30 years or 29 years, right? Just to keep up with demand. Um, so that that's a lot. So that that this was really eye opening. I have a lot of conversations with clients and other people, and they're just like, "Man, I can't believe how bad traffic is getting. What is going on? We need to put a stop to it." Listen, th th this is not going to stop. So. Um, wish I had better news for you from a traffic standpoint, but you can see how the county and the housing authority and the commissioners, I mean, they're struggling with this growth, folks. So give them a little bit of grace, get involved. Um, but this is what we've got coming here. So, um, you know, when we start talking about housing and I have the other conversation of everybody's thinking, you know, when are values going to like crash? Everything's going to crash, right? Not with this demand. Look at the demand, right? It's all comes down to supply and demand, and the demand is still super duper high. So there's no end in sight. We might have some hiccups here and there, and it might slow down for a month or two or um, something like that. But overall, this demand is not going not gonna to disappear on us. Um, this is just the average uh, price. You can see that you know prices are going up right here. We are looking at the average price in Cherokee County right now is $485,000. That's $30,000 more than last year. Um, and you can just kind of see the appreciation, the change over since uh, 2020, really, especially look at this increase since um, 2020. We had a 19.3% increase in values in that one year alone, then 16%, then five. And then this year we're at pace to do almost 6.6%. So we thought that it might be pulling back. Everybody's like, when's it going to stop? When's it going to end? Where's the crash? You can see that we're not crashing. All right. Values are not crashing. They are still at a feverish pace right here in our county. So um, long term, listen, we've got a we've got an affordability issue, which I'm going to do a separate um, podcast on totally because that's a whole other issue. But we know that this is not sustainable. This increase is not sustainable. And um, we've got to do some things. The county has recognized that and we, they, they've got a lot of different ideas and plans to actually help that out. Um, but man, when it comes to economic factors, supply and demand, um, it's very difficult to actually um, fight against that or put policy in place that's going to keep everybody happy um, against that. So anyways, Appreciation has been good. If you are a homeowner, you're happy to see this, uh, right? If you are a buyer or someone that is looking to sell and buy again, sometimes this gets a little bit scary and very challenging, and we recognize that. So here's the sale price again. Look at that climb. Um, that's the median sale price in Cherokee County. Again, we're at median sale price of $485,000. 
Um, okay, so this is kind of like a comparison from last uh, August to this August. It breaks it down per city. Um, and um, let me kind of, oh, let me just shrink that down. So we can do the whole breakdown of the city, but I kind of like just looking at Cherokee as a, overall. Now the numbers differentiate a little bit because we got, you know, some goofy borders with Ackworth and Alpharetta kind of bordering two different counties. So um, depending on how you're pulling your data, it, it gets messed up a little bit. Um, however, as you can see, the median sale price according to this data is 494. Uh, we had 323 sales so far this year. That is down 75 transactions. That's 75 less transactions that are occurring um, across the board. Or if you want to look at it, 70, we're down 70 transactions or closed sales um, from, uh, from a year ago. So the market is slowing down, meaning there's not as many transactions occurring. However, the demand is still there. Um, to be able to elevate, obviously, the, the price increases. So that's really what it is. I keep on saying supply and demand, but that's what drives drives this, uh, this market. So anyways, just kind of interesting. If you have heard that the market is slowing down, it is. We're not as many transactions, but um, we're still really, really out of balance here locally. And then uh, I thought this was pretty interesting. This kind of goes back to the affordability um, we've got um, 820 houses that are currently on the market right now. This was as of uh, September 3rd. Uh, sorry, there's 940 active listings. That's up from 647 from March. And then the median list price is $579,000. We have 820 houses that are detached. 130 of them are asking over a million dollars, which is 16% of the market. Now, 10 years ago, if you were to say that 16% of the houses that were on the market are listed over a million dollars, you would be like, yeah, right. I mean, right, you know, I'm exaggerating a little bit here, but there's probably five houses in the whole county that were actually worth over a million dollars. But 16% of the houses that are on the market right now are over a million dollars. Um, out of those 940, 120 of them are attached. So they're townhouses or condos. Um, here's where the affordability issue starts playing in. And again, I'll do another video on this. Three Under $300,000, that's a house. There's 23 homes that are, being, that are actively listing. Three of them are modular homes. 11 are needing major repairs. And again, anytime in MLS that you see needing major repairs, you know it's a, it's a wreck, right? Um, seven are attached. And then two are quote unquote move in ready. That's it. So there's very little, and these two are, I'm sure, probably gone by now. Um, but as you can see, we've got an affordability issue um, in the area. So $300,000 and below is a very challenging market. If you are a buyer and you have been frustrated because no agents are giving you attention when you call them up and say, I'm trying to buy a house and you say that your price point is $300,000, this is why it's getting frustrating for you. And, and they may not come right out and tell you, but the bottom line is there isn't anything, there's very little for you out there, right? It's very, very challenging, but we get it. Um, but, but that's the reality of it. Um, I thought this was, uh, let's see, detached homes, uh, median ask. Oh, this is rents. Sorry, my, my little head is in the way and I can't see where we're at here. So whoop, can I, there we go. <laughs> All right, so here's rents. Um, if you are a renter, your detached home uh, active, there's 82 of them. The average rent right now is $2,738. And um, that's the asking price. The actual rent price is $2,400 a month. For attached homes, those are your townhouses and and uh, condos. Um, your actual rents uh, like twenty four hundred dollars, right? And there's not a whole heck of a lot of them out there. Most landlords are looking for at least uh, three to one income ratio, which means that you need to be making about seventy nine thousand dollars a year to be able to get into a halfway decent rental in our in our in our county. So that is a that's a big number, $79,000 just to be a renter. All right. Again, I'm going to do another video on affordability, um, but that's, you know, here's our rent scenario here.
Okay, so what does it take to buy a house in Cherokee County? All right, let's assume we got a $495,000 sale price, which is very close to what our median sale price is, our average sale price here. Let's say you put only 10% down. That means you got $49,000 down payment, plus you got a whole bunch of other expenses. You know, if you're going to finance it, you got closing costs and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, you're going to borrow $445,000. Going rate right now is 6.35% for a 30-year fixed. That means you're going to be paying on a monthly basis about $2,700 a month. Plus, you're going to have taxes and HOA insurance. Your payment's going to be almost $3,500. Now, to qualify for that, what is a lender looking for? Um, they want to make sure that your debt to income ratio is like 40%. All right. And that's actually really high. Most financial advisors want you to be at about 30 percent. All right. Now, this that means it, so if you increase it to 40 percent, meaning that you're almost married to the house, you're not going to have a lot of disposable income at that at that ratio to be able to have any fun with or do a whole heck of a lot. Um, but that's that means that you need to be earning one hundred and three thousand dollars a year. Now that we have a lot of dual income um, properties, um, you know, two house, two income households. So that kind of helps. But if you're single and you're the breadwinner, that household needs to be bringing in $103,000. Now that doesn't include, this ratio doesn't include any other debts. So if you've got car payments, if you've got student loans, that gets tacked onto that ratio. And for every thousand dollars worth of debt payment that you have every single month, that means you need to increase your income by $30,000. So let's say you have a car payment of 500 bucks and you got a, um, a student loan for $500, all right? That means that you need to be making $133,000 a year in order to afford the median sale price home in Cherokee County. The median income right now in Cherokee County is almost $100,000. So pretty much on par. But if you're below that, if your household income is below 100 and 103 at the best scenario, I think the majority of people have some other debts in play. I really do. Um, you're about thirty, forty thousand dollars a year off of what you really need to be making um, a year in order to buy the median priced home in Cherokee County. Again, that goes back to affordability. Um, and it's an, it's an issue. So this kind of came in, this little graph shows you the gap in between what people are making and what houses are costing. And just realize this huge gap right here over on the right hand side, that has been growing and growing and it is way out of whack. It just is. Good news, bad news. Short term, this is, this is challenging. Long term, if the federal, the state, the local, all communities understand that we've got an affordability issue and, and they are working towards solutions towards this. Now, there's all kinds of different solutions that are out there that are proposed. It is slow. It takes time. There's no easy fix to it. But just understand that it's not going unrecognized. All right. So this is one of the challenges is that once again, you know, the driving economic factor behind most markets, especially in housing, is supply and demand. We don't have enough supply in order to adequately fulfill the demand that we have. And going back to what we had earlier in the growth that we have here, we need housing. Um, so this is kind of interesting. Um, we've had two decades of low inventory nationally. Um, the median sale price nationally is $422,000. That's the highest on record. And this is one of the reasons why we don't have enough supply. 86% um, of the Americans that have a mortgage have a rate below 6%, meaning that they're locked into their current home. Let's say you have a mortgage rate of 3%. You're having a very hard time selling that house with a 3% mortgage and buying a new one at 6.2% two or 6.3 or wherever it happens to be. That's very, very challenging. So therefore, people are making the decision to stay put. I'm not putting the house on the market, which is locking the system up. So 
it's recognized. Um, but yes, it's it's been an issue for decades and there's no quick fix to this. I've done videos before. There's no quick fix to it, right? This is going to take time. It's going to take local intervention and some ideas to stimulate. We may end up having to think about things a little bit differently in our county in order to bring more housing here. And no, we don't need more million dollar houses. We need affordable housing. We need housing for service providers. Those folks that are actually serving our communities themselves cannot continue to commute from Dallas, Georgia and Paulding County and Pickens and all over the place just to come here and work. They need to have local housing, affordable housing here. Doesn't make a lot of people happy because now all of a sudden you're talking about high density housing, um, not necessarily apartments, um, but that's been that's what's currently um, available in our zoning. So the counties and municipalities have been looking at introducing some different zoning um, options to be able to bring in higher density housing, to be able to bring people back in and get this affordability. But um, again, so that's it's been very interesting. Uh, once again, there's no magic solutions, but understand that the local communities understand this affordability issue. We hear you, we understand, and we are working towards that. I wish there was a magic solution here and a quick fix. There just isn't. Um, I would encourage people to get involved. If you want to get involved, you definitely can do that. So you have a say in it. Um, but just understand that that um, I was very impressed with the fact that um, you know, everybody's aware of it. And like I said, from the national level, all the way down through the state and the local um, communities, we understand we got an affordability issue. Um, okay, so that's about it. I think that's it. I'm not going to go through the rest of the slides. So that's your market update. Basically, <laughs> what that means is that we got people moving in, we've got a lot of demand, and we don't have enough houses. So don't anticipate values going down anytime soon. Interest rates are starting to come down a little bit more, which means more buyers are coming in and there's going to be more demand for the housing that we don't have. Hopefully these lower rates will entice some of the folks that are locked into their current homes to loosen up a little bit and actually put their homes on the market to kind of free up this gridlock that we are in. So that's one of the things that we are hoping with lowering the rates. Um, Time will tell and we'll see. If you got any other questions or would like to hear a little bit more, reach out to us. But here is your market update for the fall of 2024.